Everybody, it is Valentine's Day. My name is Max Belegde, and sorry to my boyfriend who is currently dining alone at home because Aww. I am here, loved up with the cast of June 2. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, I'm going to start at the end. Um, the incredible Austin Butler, who is playing the role of Fade Rowther. Forgive my pronunciation. I feel like that was good. good. Yeah. You sound great. Perfect. Thank you. Oh, I'll take it. Thank you. Um, and then we have the incredible Florence Pugh, who is playing Princess Irulan. Was that all right? Did I do that? Yep. Yes. Me. Thank you. That, perfect. Um, and then we have the amazing Zendaya, well, who is playing Shani. Is that good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I was I'm hoping I'm that the Zendaya was. That's the harder one. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, the iconic. Timothy Chalamet, who is playing, is it Paul? No, I'm joking, oh, Paul. Yeah. Uh, so nice to see you all, honestly. Thank you. Um, Thank you. I hope that you're all having a lovely time in London. How's it going? Amazing. Yeah? Just got yeah. here? Just got here. So far, so good? Lovely. It's always lovely. good to be home. Yes, yeah. indeed. Indeed. British legend. Do you are, love? <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, so I'm going to start off with some questions for all of you, if that's okay. So feel free to jump in. And now I've got some um, that I crafted for each of you, myself, if that's okay. Um, so, firstly, what was the craziest thing that happened to you all on set during filming? The craziest thing? I mean, there's so much sand, I imagine, that that got in the way of some, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I did. Um, I don't know if anything crazy happened, unless anybody has any crazy story. I mean, like, I just... I mean, the craziest thing is just like having to, you know, get sand in my eye oh, really? every day. There was, I would go home with at least one little piece of sand oh, in no. my eye, so I'd be up all night, like over the <laughs> sink. You know, you know. I'm shocked you're not still just finding sand now. I know, I know. I think actually, well, when I unpacked, I did. Yeah, oh, really. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, you escaped the sand, didn't you? I did, but I, at the time, I was trying to persuade Denis into writing me into like some sort of dream-like sequence. I was like, come on, Denis, what if she's on a dune? Like Zendaya in the first one. And there's just floating clothes. And he was like, not having any of it. Oh. I tried. I've really, really tried. <laughs> but no, alas, <laughs> no enough. dunes for me. <laughs> That's such an odd sentence if it was in any other context. Yeah. Um, but I like it. Yeah. Um, next up, how did you all prepare for the physical demands of filming? Because obviously, you know, with the sand dunes, um, Sorry, not fear. Sorry, I don't. I don't mean to trigger you, Florence. It's okay. Um, with the sand dunes and everything, it's it's not. I've I've walked on a beach. It's not easy to do. I mean, I'm sure it's a bit different. Um, but how did you cope with that? <laughs> I, I saw you. I thought I saw you doing no, it. Like, no, like, I was, I was, uh, I'm just holding it. Um, uh, just honestly, training. You know, a uh, uh, good amount of training with the stunt coordinator Roger Yuan, mm -hmm. uh, who's also an actor in the film. Um, and uh, and then eventually, once you're in the desert and you're you're there day after day and going to these incredible sets and getting there practically a lot of the time, you know, you build up a certain stamina, yeah. and then and then you're good to go. Oh my gosh! How about you guys? I mean, same. I I wasn't in the I wasn't in the dunes, but I I um, well, you know, we had we had a fight that we had to do Crazy. together. So there was a lot of training for that. I had the arena fight, which is the first thing that I filmed and. And that was actually on sand, so really? so that okay. that was tricky as well. And it's and it's it was very hot, so <laughs> it was just a lot of a lot of training to get ready for that. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, I must say it's so interesting seeing you as a human being right now, um, because you've very much been in my nightmares ever since I've seen the film. <laughs> so it's glad to know that you are a nice person in real life. <laughs> uh, how about you, Zendaya? Um. Yeah. I um. I was lucky. I had come off of a of a of a film where I was training to do tennis, to be a tennis player. Okay. So I was lucky enough to like kind of be in shape before I got into this, yeah. which I was like, yes, okay. I'm not going to be winded at least. Mm. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I think, I don't know. It's, it's, it's one of those things too. You can prepare as much as possible, but I think being there, no matter what, you're just so grateful to be in these places, no matter like how hard the hike is to get there to the location or whatever. It's so gorgeous. Everybody is so happy to be there that it's it's the last thing you're kind of thinking about um but you know and you sleep well at the end yeah, of the day we love that we love that i mean if it was me um there would have needed to be a medic on set at all times <laughs> it would have been really quite upsetting um and one last question for all of you before i dive into personal questions sorry that sounds weird we'll not do that um uh, what funny or unusual habits do you each have when preparing for your roles 
Because, like, think it, I mean, again, going back to your role, Austin, like, there's such an intensity that is not normal to human interactions. Like, do you stand in front of a mirror beforehand and be like, right, let me, let me find this, like, crazy person? Like, what do you do? I mean, not in front of a mirror. Of that visual, <laughs> yeah. It's just me staring myself down. <laughs> No, I, I, it's, uh, I mean, there's a lot of daydreaming involved, a lot of daydreaming about the childhood uh, that, that I would have gone through as fade and that sort of thing. So, so a lot of staring off into the distance, uh, seemingly in, in listless silence, and, and yet there's a lot going on inside. Um, a lot of talking to myself, you know, walking around in a hotel room, just, just trying out different voices. And, and uh, um, yeah, there, a lot of moments of... Uh, of uh, of sort of simulated in insanity mm -hmm. uh, that <laughs> that then you 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 just kind of end up finding things and then you take it on set. Yeah. Okay. I when preparing for anything will always um will like go through the script and then we'll like be the character but looking at nothing in the room. Yeah. So I'll be like, okay, where's the camera? The camera's there and then I'll be like talking to someone and I'll be like, no, that doesn't sound right. Do it again. No, nah, <laughs> it doesn't sound right. Do it again. Um, so that could, would look quite insane. Yeah, if someone <laughs> interrupts that process. Like if someone comes in the room? Yeah. I'll I'll go and say hi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't continue as they're standing there. <laughs> How about you guys? Uh, I think, yeah. No, please. <laughs> All right. uh, yeah, I guess it depends on on the on the role mm -hmm. and the challenge. With, not the challenge, but the the obligation here was to get back in the mindset of Dune, you know, and make sure it was linked up with the first movie. Yeah, because didn't you go straight from Wonka to? So I imagine that's quite different. It was a mind bend, definitely. <laughs> yeah, <it was> strange. <laughs> yeah. You must have gone from like surrounded by lollipops um, to intense like murder and sand. Yeah. That's exactly what it was. In the first, we shot a lot of this sequentially, which is a gift as an actor. But the wow. first thing we were shooting, which was carrying Jamis's body from the end of the first movie wow. at the beginning of the second movie, so it was quite a a tone. Interesting change. first day back at work. Oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah. There's a there's a three four month gap, but it was it was nonetheless yes. Right. Okay. So what I'm getting from that is that you all just spend a lot of time by yourself saying words to nobody. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. It's fair. It's fair. Yeah, good. I'm glad that you do it in the comfort of your own home or hotel rooms because that would look very bizarre in the street. But um, you know, maybe I encourage it. Actually, we'll see. I've done we'll it see. On the street. Um, <laughs> um, now I've got some questions for you, Timothy. If that's okay. Um, so the anticipation for June Part Two is immensely strong, as I'm sure you all feel. Like, especially coming from the fans. How do you manage the the kind of expectations from the fans versus your own artistic input into the role? Hmm. In in uh, in the doing of the film or in anticipating its release? I'd say the doing of the film. Well, in the doing of the film, I'm not I'm not just dodging the question, but it's Denis Villeneuve. It's this mm -hmm. incredible director um, who is so passionate about the material, who grew up loving it. So you know you're in the safest of hands. Mm -hmm. Also, when you do something on stage or you do theater work, you're in direct relation to the audience. Mm -hmm. There's a tension with that, but there could be the gift of, uh, you know, just feeling an audience's interaction with a, the play or the musical you're doing. When you're doing a film, to a benefit and to a fault, sometimes the echo comes at a much later date. Like, so we shot this a year and a half ago at this point. So uh, to the benefit of that, you don't have the immediacy, the anxiety of, oh, what are, how are people going to receive this? Uh, and, yeah. um, you know, do you, does that make sense? Yeah. yeah, yeah, perfect sense, perfect sense. Um, and one more question for you, if that's okay. Um, what was it like to? What was it like returning to Paul as a character? And what is different bet between him in the first one and him in this one, in your opinion? Well, the first movie, Paul literally begins, a, you know, a boyish figure who's privileged behind royal walls, the son of a duke, um, without tons of real world experience which is why Gurney Halleck is so hard on him in that initial training scene goes through personal tragedy over the course of the first movie and we see the 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 rumblings of the the man he's going to become at the end of the first movie but this is really the story of Paul mm. uh uh